Hey, welcome to the next episode of Tech for the Rest of Us. I'm Tashaka Armstrong, and today we're talking about first impressions, the Motorola Droid Turbo. That's right, the Turbo. This is like the turbo amped up steroid version of the Motorola Moto X. Say that five times fast. And what we have here is a 5.2 inch Quad HD screen running Android 4.4.4 KitKat with a promise to a pretty quick update to the latest version of Android, which is Lollipop. Um, you're going to get a, a super speedy device with the Snapdragon 805 processor. That's currently the fastest processor on the market. Only two other devices, if I remember correctly, have that processor currently. It's XLTE ready. It has a 3,900 milliamp hour battery, 3,900 milliamp hours. They're saying, Motorola that is, that you're gonna get 48 hours out of this. Uh, by some reports, you're looking at a day and a half, 14 hours. But the bottom line is this phone is a beast and you're going to get a full day's worth of work out of this. Now, when I say full day, I mean from the time you get up to the time you get home. You're gonna get through your work day, uh, you're going to get home at night and you're probably going to have some charge left. Uh, what makes this phone so special, especially over the Motorola Moto X, which is a very similar phone, is that this has a higher pixel density. This has a higher uh, uh, pixel density screen and it has a 20 megapixel camera as opposed to the 13 mega, megapixel camera uh, found on the Motorola Moto X, the second gen 2014 Motorola Moto X. It has three gigabytes of RAM, so it's going to be able to handle anything you throw at it and handle it efficiently. And similarities to the Moto X, you get quick capture, you tap on the screen, it takes a picture. Uh, the phone is a world phone, so you'll be able to go anywhere, pop a SIM. Uh, it's 4G LTE, like I said, ready for X LTE. It also has GPS, Bluetooth 4.0, low energy. Uh, dual band Wi-Fi, which means this will work on 802.11a, b, g, n, and ac, and it also has NFC. Uh, one of the things that I'm not too happy about, which I would like to see, or would have liked to have seen in the phone, is an IR blaster so that you can use the phone as a remote control. I think that's a handy feature. I think all smartphones, at least flagship phones, top of the line phones, should have that feature, but alas, the Motorola Droid Turbo doesn't, but that's a very small thing. Um, because it has Qualcomm's Quick Charge 2.0 technology embedded, you're gonna be able to recharge that massive 3,900 milliamp hour battery in about two hours to 100%. Uh, Motorola says that in 15 minutes, you'll be able to recharge it from drained to about eight hours worth of talk time. So that Quick Charge technology is gonna be a boost for those of you who I don't know how, but manage to actually power through this massive battery in a short amount of time. Uh, currently, this phone is $200 on contract. That's two years, $200, $600 outright. And that's for the red or black 32 gigabyte version. You're gonna add $50 to that price if you wanna go for the ballistic nylon uh, version that's 64 gigabytes. My buddy, Tony McEwing, that's Tony Mac, one of the anchors here at Good Day LA, he actually opted for that ballistic nylon version. I got to handle that a bit, and I have to tell you, it is nice. So if you can afford it, if it's within your budget, um, I definitely, personally, aesthetically recommend that ballistic nylon over that, as well as the fact that it has the 64, gigabyte, uh, uh, 64 gigabytes of memory. And that's gonna be a big deal because this phone does not have removable storage. So whatever you buy, that's what you're stuck with. So you buy the 32 gigabyte, you're stuck with 32 gigabytes. I always recommend that if you can afford it, you go for the biggest uh, amount of uh, memory or biggest amount of storage you can get on a device out the box that does not have removable storage because sometimes you can end up regretting it if you don't, having to swap files and delete files and it just gets to be a pain sometimes. First world problems, I know, but it's well worth it, again, if it's within your budget. So now that we've given you an overview Let's talk about some of these features a little bit more in detail. This really is a first impressions video, so I'm not gonna go into super detail about the setup, but I'm gonna go over some features with you so you get an idea of what you're looking at if you're going in this weekend to buy. This is really the heart of Motorola's current experience. You have Moto Assist, 
Moto Actions, Moto Voice, Moto Display. In Motorola Assist, you can set the time and that will silence the phone during those times you don't want to be bothered. Moto Driving, it will actually now read your text messages out to you. It'll tell you who's calling. It'll play music over Bluetooth or the headphone jack. And you can even drop in here with more options. It'll use your GPS to know when you're driving uh, so that it will automatically start reading some of that information off to you. Let's close that up. The home menu will allow the phone to also talk to you while you're resting and relaxing so that every time you get a text message or a call, you don't have to pick up the phone. It'll read that information aloud. And meetings, which is a very cool function. It looks at your calendar, it looks at information to know when you don't want to be disturbed. So if it has a calendar entry in your phone, it's going to silence the phone during that period of time so you're not interrupted. It can also send an auto reply to anybody in your favorites list if you're in a meeting. I personally really like this functionality because if my wife calls, if my children call, I can have it set up to send them an auto reply to let them know that I'm in a meeting and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. Let's get into actions. Moto actions, very cool functionality. It uses infrared sensors embedded around the screen to allow you to just wave your hand over the screen to activate certain functionality. You wanna see notifications, just wave your hand over the screen. It will also allow you to do other things like wave your hand over the screen to silence calls and snooze alarms. You also have the twist quick capture feature, which will allow you to quickly open your camera anytime so that you can uh, take a quick picture, get off that quick photo. Then there's voice. As you can see, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can teach the phone your favorite phrase and wake the phone up that way. So you don't have to say, okay, Google. You can say something like, do or do not, there is no try, and wake your phone up. Yes, you can talk like Yoda and wake your phone up. How awesome is that? One of the great things about Moto Voice is that they've actually expanded many of the options available to you, like allowing it to work with third-party apps like Facebook so that you could actually post a status to your Facebook page without touching your phone. You can also launch the camera and take a quick pic or say something like take a selfie to, of course, take a selfie. And Moto Display, it notifies you at a glance. So what can you do with Moto Display? Uh, you're gonna have, as it says, their battery-friendly notifications that fade in and out. Again, this doesn't fully wake up the display. It's black and white, so it saves you battery power. It's very efficient. And you can even select which apps are going to appear on Moto Display when that display wakes up. So basically, a ton of customization so that you don't have to use the phone, you don't have to touch the phone as much as possible. And especially in a place like California here where we have the hands-free laws, functionality like that is, is much needed on devices. So I can see people not driving, holding their phone up to the ear. One of the apps that is actually very cool on the Motorola Droid Turbo is Droid Zap. Droid Zap allows you to share media with people around you without even sometimes having to specify who specifically you're sharing that information with. Droid Zap will show you people around you, they have to have the Droid Zap app, who are available for you to share media with and will allow you to automatically share that with them if you choose to do so. Uh, really cool functionality, really cool feature, uh, what they call frictionless, meaning there's not a whole lot for you to do once you set it up in some instances. So definitely a cool app, definitely something worth checking it out. Uh, in the end, for my first impressions, uh, this phone is, is pretty cool. It has uh, a nice texture, nice soft texture back, so this isn't gonna slip out of your hands. Of course, love the dual LEDs, uh, three and a half millimeter jack up top. The screen looks really good. I mean, this is a beautiful screen. Uh, Based on your preference, you may or may not like the capacitive buttons. You may want them on the screen. Some people do, some people don't. That really is a matter of preference. But look for more on this phone. We're going to give it a thorough review, come back to you, let you know what we think of the device. But for today, I have to say, in hand, great device, definitely worth checking out, running into your Verizon store and seeing if it's the one for you. 
If you're a hardcore power user and you really like the Moto X, I would definitely say that this should be atop your list, maybe even more over the Moto X, because the battery life on this thing is just gonna be amazing. And this has top of the line specs. Not that the Moto X is a slouch by any means, but this is a beast of a phone. And again, if you are a user who's always a, hugging walls, charging your phone, then this is definitely the phone for you. Definitely the one you're gonna to wanna to look at. Again, this is the marathon. This is the Kenyan runner of cell phones. It is the Energizer Bunny. Keeps going, going, and going. I'm Shaka Armstrong. This has been Tech for the rest of us. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them in the comments section below. If you like the video, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, share it with a friend. See you on the next one.